After a year and a half, it's finally time for another PlayStation Showcase. On May 24th, it's a bit over an hour long, focused on PS5 and some PSVR 2 games. We should expect a glimpse at several new creations from PlayStation Studios, as well as spellbinding games from our third-party partners and indie creators. In this video, I want to look at everything that can happen, looking at recent news, rumors and leaks, starting with some sure bets, because of course we're gonna see Spider-Man 2. I really think we get a similar gameplay reveal demo that they also did for the 2018 game and then later for Miles Morales during a previous PlayStation showcase to show a part of a mission with cutscenes and combat and then a release date at the end, which as you probably know is rumored for September 2023. Ratchet Clank Rift Apart already showed what Insomniac can do with a PS5 exclusive game and I think Spidey will take it even to the next level. I really can't wait and we get Final Fantasy 16 before Spider-Man on June 22nd and while we've already seen that game many times i totally think they want to remind us that it's coming soon with a new trailer but more interesting i think will be a new look at final fantasy 7 rebirth the second game in the final fantasy 7 remake trilogy that was announced last year during the special 25th anniversary stream and it has a winter 2023 release date crisis core which i love by the way was also announced during that same stream with a winter 2022 date and it launched december 2022 so there is still Still a chance that Rebirth hits this year. Would of course be cool, but if it happens or not, I still think there's a high chance that this is the final PlayStation showcase before the game releases, so I totally think they will show it. We also know Death Stranding 2 is of course coming, seems to be planned for 2024, so I totally expect a new look at this event, just like a new trailer for Stellar Blade, another Sony published game. Very action focused, I'm kind of getting DMC vibes from it. Should still come in 2023, so a release date during the showcase I think makes sense. Another game I really can't wait for is of course the Last of Us standalone multiplayer. We always heard that we would get more info this year. And the PlayStation Showcase would of course be the perfect spot for that. Neil Druckmann has said to BuzzFeed that you will be able to enter the world of The Last of Us with your friends and get to experience the tension and brutality of that world and a brand new story and cast of characters that live in another city that we haven't seen yet in the world of The Last of Us. That city is of course San Francisco, looking at the two concept art they released, but I think the word friend is interesting. So is he like referring to a two-player co-op mode here? Will there be PvP in the game? What is the business model? Like, there are a ton of questions that I'm sure we will get some answers to during the PlayStation Showcase. And of course, an early beta announcement or something would be really cool too. I also think we get a trailer for the online co-op game from the Blood and Truth makers London Studios. I think the first art they shared looked interesting, so it would be cool to see the game in action. And yes, maybe you already noticed it, but online and multiplayer will be a big trend during this show, as Sony plans to have 12 of these live service games out by March 2026. We're now in financial year 23, where they already want to have 6 of these live service games out, so showing them during the showcase makes a ton of sense. Other rumored titles being a new Twisted Metal, the TV show is airing in July, maybe you saw the teaser already, so at least announcing the game I think makes sense. Helldivers 2 is likely another one of those live service games, it got leaked already with a trailer and seems like they're going for a different approach compared to the top down camera view from the original and my prediction has been for the longest time that I think they could shadow drop this game. It has been in development for a really long time and we saw Nintendo do it with Metroid, Xbox with Hi-Fi Rush. Like if they're gonna shadow drop something, I think Helldivers 2 would be perfect. But yeah, we will totally see the game, I think. The shadow drop is of course a prediction. But one of the biggest live service titles from their initiative is the Horizon Online project that Gorilla actually already talked about themselves. Saying that it features a new cast of characters and a unique stylized the look, friends will be able to explore the majestic wilds of Horizon together. Now, I'm kind of scared for the unique stylized look. If you're curious, there is a leaked image that you can find on Google by typing like Horizon multiplayer game. Still though, hunting these robots with friends I think will be really awesome. This is totally the game that I'm most curious about for the show. And sure, we just had Call of the Mountain and the Burning Shores DLC, but this has been in the works by a separate team for more than 5 years already looking at the game director's LinkedIn. 
I think they can show it with a potential 2024 date. But I also think that this is the only Horizon project that will be at the PlayStation Showcase. So not the Zero Dawn remaster or the MMO from NCSoft that got leaked. Now that Forbidden West is done, I think they're gonna shift the spotlight to this co-op hunting game. Time to move on to third-party partners and then of course circle back to other potential big reveals from Sony's own studios. Of course, if you like the video so far, then leaving a like would really help me out. Subscribe as well because I will keep you posted on these reveals and we'll also be live reacting. So it would be cool if you joined us. I will have a countdown timer to that stream in the pinned comment so you can already set a reminder. Sony has been using Avatar Frontiers of Pandora in their presentations a lot. So I think they got the marketing deal and like we know that Ubisoft has their forward event on June 12th. But I would not be surprised if we already get a new look at this first person game set in a brand new region of Pandora during the PlayStation Showcase. High chance that we see the Silent Hill 2 remake again as it's a PS5 console timed exclusive but that is just part of Konami's presence because a Metal Gear Solid 3 remake has been heavily rumored and teased for this event for a long time now so high chance that we see it. And while less likely we might see something Castlevania as well as Konami is really trying to bring back all their dormant franchises. Remember Pragmata the kind of weird but also interesting looking game from Capcom they announced at a PlayStation Showcase in 2020. The last thing we heard is that it was delayed to 2023. So if it's still alive, if it's still happening, I totally think we get an update here. But curious if there will be more Capcom, like Dragon's Dogma 2 was of course announced. It would be cool to get like a first trailer, but I'm not expecting much more from them. Maybe like Street Fighter 6, but that's of course already coming out very soon. If there's gonna be a Hogwarts Legacy DLC, I can totally see them reveal it here. Like Sony of course has the exclusive mission, so maybe they will do another partnership. And remember that Rise of the Ronin game, while it is planned for 2024, I think seeing that again would be really awesome. And maybe that is why we will not see Ghost of Tsushima 2 at the show. Like that's the rumor right now from Jeff Grubb who has been super reliable. The first game launched in 2020 and sure they did the Icky Island DLC to also get familiar with the PS5 hardware. But that has been two years ago now. So they must be pretty far along already. So I always thought that just teasing it as we already know it's coming would be awesome. But again the rumor now is that it won't be at the show. So I think it's better to not expect it sadly which i think also rules out a 2024 date now fingers crossed that the first game is still coming to pc this year then sony bands the studio behind days gone and siphon filter is 30 years old this year and they can't wait to show what's next like their previous game of course days gone launched in 2019 and while they did not immediately start working on their new ip it has been a while and all the info we have so far is that it includes multiplayer and builds upon the open world systems of Days Gone but brings you a whole new world that we're extremely excited to craft for you. So I think it's like 2025 at the earliest but I still think that finally showing what the team is working on is totally in the cards so they can stop being secretive. Sony also has been working with a lot of new teams made out of industry veterans. Studios like Haven from Jade Raymond and a lot of Assassin's Creed and other Ubisoft developers have been working on a new multiplayer IP that we could totally see here. Sony really liked the game by the way and bought the whole studio. Same for Firewalk that is also doing a big AAA multiplayer new IP focused on creating memories with your friends. Again. Next to single player games, there's going to be a big focus on multiplayer during this event. And Bungie would of course play a big role here too. It's not an official PlayStation studio, but Sony does own them. So they could totally show their new IP they've been working on for a very long time now. There are rumors about a fantasy RPG that might look like this. With them also filing a trademark for the name Matter. And other reports hint at a revival of an old project of them. Marathon as a PvP extraction shooter. So it could only be that Sony wants to put the spotlight on one of their new games during this show. Other studios that could be ready are Team Asobi behind Astrobot of course and at the PS5 launch game Astro's Playroom. So will their next game be a full-fledged PS5 title or maybe another PSVR 2 game? I do think though that it's probably going to be a 3D platformer with our PlayStation mascot. And if you're more into horror titles, then you could totally see one from Ballistic Moon, a new studio Sony might have already bought without announcing it. They're working on a horror game and Fire Sprite was also hiring 
for a triple A horror game in Unreal Engine 5. But what if, yeah, it's time for our wild predictions section. It's getting less likely from here on out, although I will still tell you why it is possible, like it's not like out of nowhere. And if it happens, it would of course be a bombshell announcement. So then we obviously have to start with GTA 6. In a recent earnings call, Take-Two hinted that the game could be coming in 2024 or at least launch before April 2025 because they expect a 3 billion revenue boost in that time period. And Sony usually has the Grand Theft Auto deals giving away GTA Online for free earlier in the PS5 generation, etc, etc. So... If it's at a showcase, it's going to be a PlayStation 1, but I still think that Rockstar will just pick their own moment instead. No need to share it with anyone else. A new Take-Two game that I think is more likely is the next Bioshock. At the end of 2019, it was announced that a new studio, Cloud Chamber, was working on the title. And looking at the LinkedIn from Mel, who was a narrative director on Odyssey and now an associate creative director on Bioshock, having already worked on the title for almost four years. Like just teasing the setting would I think already be wild and I can see it happen. Now some other things that I think everyone would lose their mind for, myself included, is a new Uncharted. We talked about that tease in the live from PlayStation TV ad where we see a girl exploring a tomb. She could totally be Nathan's daughter. Like all the footage in this ad was linked to an existing title, except for this one. And it would be stupid to not do something with the franchise. Uncharted 4 has been played by over 37 million people. This was through the PlayStation Plus collection and it sold 20 million copies. Like a new title would be huge, especially because they're probably making another movie as well. But who would develop this game? We know that Naughty Dog is not working on Uncharted anymore. So if this is happening, who is it? I don't think it's a shirt bet that we see it, but I still wanted to bring it up because we could see it during the show. If the words Bloodborne appear on screen, then everyone will lose their shit. There's always been a rumor that remake studio Bluepoint, who previously did the Shadow of the Colossus remake and more recently Demon Souls, is working on a Bloodborne remaster, likely for PS5 and PC. And also a sequel. From Software seems really busy with a ton of stuff. Although I would not rule out them helping out with this in some way. Like it's probably the only way something Bloodborne related will happen. But it could totally be not happening. And that Bluepoint is doing something else. Like expectations are the key for this one. Because I think it's weird that Sony is not like doing anything with Bloodborne. Like releasing a new patch or something. But on the other hand... They could also just have moved on. So we will see. Now my wild bombshell prediction that I'm feeling really good about is something God of War related. Yes, Ragnarok just came out. But as we discussed before, it teases many spin-offs and other potential titles. Like we will totally get that Atreus game. I think it's a safe bet. And maybe we are seeing it during this event already. Like I'm thinking a Miles Morales moment that we did not see coming. And that maybe this Atreus game then also already launches at the end of this year. Sure, Miles launched two years after the first game, so maybe it's too soon, but it would totally be an OMG moment. Herman did go to the studio recently, saying that he was totally inspired by everything I saw today, and we also have a new audio designer quote tweet the PlayStation Showcase with some eyes. Could totally be nothing, but my wild prediction is that they already have something to show, and that it could be launching this year, although it's probably next year, so maybe they wait for it. Either way, I think we could see something God of War related. Well, I think it's too early for that next game from Corey Barlock. Now some small quick shots at the end. Don't expect the new Call of Duty here. Sony still has the deal, but the game seems to be announced in August. Also, don't hold your breath for the Knights of the Old Republic remake. It seems to have some serious trouble and... It seems to be delayed indefinitely with the development being on pause. There are no Sly Cooper or Infamous games in development, so also don't expect those. And I think we will not see Wolverine from Insomniac, as they probably want to focus on Spider-Man. That's at least what I expect, although I would love to be wrong. Now, we will likely see that new PlayStation 5 model here as well with the detachable disk drive. It should already be out in September, probably alongside Spider-Man. So... Feels like the right time to announce that. Of course, if I missed anything or what do you hope to see, let me know in the comments. Again, a link to the live reaction in the pinned comments so you can already set a reminder. I hope to see you there. Subscribe to not miss anything. A like would of course really be awesome. And check out my recent Sunday video going over the biggest news of the week by clicking on the screen. I will speak to you soon. Goodbye.